Bluey has some crazy theories circulating around the internet, but most of these theories turned out to be false. But there are some theories that have turned out to be true. And in today's video, we're going to look at some of them. Let's start with the first theory. This theory actually was one of the first Bluey theories to exist. And it's about Bluey and Mackenzie. And I think you all know what I'm talking about. We were all very excited to know who Bluey would end up with, Mackenzie or Jean-Luc. There are hundreds of fan arts on the internet of Bluey being with Mackenzie or Jean-Luc. But with so many theories about this couple, many of us were almost certain that Bluey and Mackenzie would end up being together only in our dreams. Because we know that when this kind of thing happens, directors often change the story to make it unpredictable. But apparently Bluey and Mackenzie would end up together from the beginning. Even in one of the episodes, Winton says that Bluey and Mackenzie are going to get married in the future. And well, it was the last episode called Surprise that made it very clear who Bluey was married to. At the end, we see a scene where adult Bluey visits her parents, but she is not alone, as she is accompanied by her little son who looks quite like little Mackenzie. He even has the same folded ear as Mackenzie. Well, we still need to see Bluey and Mackenzie together. But personally, I think this is already a very direct hint. It seems like they heard our proposal. After the episode Stickbird was released, there were many theories about why Bandit looked sad in the episode. In this episode, the Healer family is by the lake having fun playing a stick-throwing game. Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves, except for one person. And of course, I'm talking about Bandit. After the episode aired, all Bluey viewers were talking about Bandit. Everyone was wondering why Bandit was looking so sad in the episode. Some fans speculated that Bandit was feeling down because he had been offered a job in another country, which meant the Healer family would have to move. These speculations arose because Bandit oversaw one of the most important archaeological projects in history. The project was about finding the bone of the first dog to walk on two legs. We can see this in the short film Archaeology, and it's safe to say that his theory did turn out to be true. In the episode Ghost Basket, it was confirmed that Bandit was already planning to sell the house. There was even a for sale sign outside the healer's house. But in the episode The Sign, with some convincing from the friends and family, Bandit decided not to sell the house. And I think the theory of Bandit being sad due to having to move did turn out to be a true one. Now, let's talk about another theory that turned out to be true. Brandy was quite a topic of conversation when we first saw her in the episode Onesies. All Bluey viewers were completely convinced that Brandy was infertile, not only because of the subtle hints dropped throughout the episode, but also throughout the series like Chili's Miscarriage. And since we know that Bluey is well known for talking about serious topics, it was no surprise. But later, another theory also arose Bingo was actually Brandy's daughter. There was a theory speculating that Brandy was not actually infertile and had actually abandoned Bingo with Chili. Since they look and act quite similar, they're both calm and sensitive, compared to Bluey with Chili and Bandit, which we can say they like to play games and have fun. But this theory didn't have any concrete evidence to prove it. The truth is that we knew very little about Brandy to assert this idea. Going back to talk about Brandy's infertility, Later in the series, one of the most popular theories in Bluey came out which was about Chili's pregnancy. Bluey viewers all over the internet were talking about Bandit and Chili's new baby, but amidst this theory, some fans were arguing that it's Brandy's who's pregnant and will have baby in future and not Chili. And it was at Rad and Frisky's wedding in the episode The Sign when we saw Brandy again, but the surprise was that she was pregnant, debunking the infertility theory and confirming the theory that Brandy would get pregnant at some point. The funny thing about Brandy is that she resolved one doubt for us, but now she left us with many new questions. Who is Brandy's husband? Where has he been all this time? The disappearance of Grandpa Bob led to many theories. Some suggested that Grandpa Bob had passed away, and some even suggested that he was alive and well, and was out exploring the world. When you start watching Bluey, you notice the existence of Grandpa Bob. We meet him in his young version and in his older version. Throughout the series, we had a few clues that Grandpa Bob was still alive, but it was later confirmed by Bluey's creator that Grandpa Bob was alive and well. So, the theory about Grandpa Bob's passing was quickly dismissed, and the theory about him exploring the world became popular. But it took almost two seasons for us to see him again in the Sign episode. And in the episode, we found out the truth about his disappearance, 
And the truth was that Grandpa Bob simply went to India to find himself. So, the theory that Grandpa Bob was still alive and was exploring the world turned out to be true. As we know, everything in Bluey has a meaning. Even small details in the background have some deeper meanings. And within Bluey, we could find several background stories that were being told throughout the episodes. And one of the most well-known was the love story of Winton's dad. As we know, Winton's dad and mom are divorced, as this was confirmed by Winton himself. In one of the episodes, Winton said that his dad and mom live separately. Throughout the episodes, we saw Winton's dad go on a date with several women, and one of them was Terrier's mom. This led to a theory about Winton's dad and Terrier's mom dating each other and possibly getting married. We were given many clues about this relationship in some episodes, and of course, it was also the sign episode that ended up confirming this theory. Because in one scene, they show us how Cornelius and the Terrier's mom finally move in together. And it's safe to say that theory didn't seem very possible in the beginning, but it ended up coming true. Let's move on to the next theory. And it's about none other than Chili. In the episode, The Show, in which Chili was appreciating a show made by Bluey and Bingo, in which they recreated the story of how Chili was pregnant with Bluey and how Bluey was born. In the episode, Bingo was pretending to be a pregnant Chili and had a balloon underneath her shirt to represent the pregnant belly. And in the middle of the play, the balloon underneath her shirt exploded, and Chili and Bandit ended up having a rather suspicious reaction, as if they had really gone through such a situation. This at first remained a simple theory that only needed to be confirmed by the show's creator. And in fact, Joe Brum himself later confirmed that Chili did have a miscarriage. This theory surprised many since the topic it touched on was quite strong for a children's series. But anyway, it ended up becoming official, and it might even have been one of the first Bluey theories that became true. And finally, let's talk about another popular theory relating to the Sign episode. In the episode, we witnessed the epic wedding of Rad and Frisky, a theory that became official. From the moment we met these two characters, we knew there was great chemistry between them. It was only a matter of time before we knew they would end up together. And indeed, within the series, we could see how their relationship was progressing. From the moment they met, they formed a great friendship until they became a couple and ended up getting engaged. Even this theory almost became true before the Sign episode was released. And it was in the Christmas Swim episode when Frisky confirmed to us that she was already part of the Healer family. This theory was one that we were most sure would happen. There were even hundreds of fan arts about their wedding. The truth was very obvious. And the Sign episode was the big surprise that Ludo Studio gave us. Finally, Rad and Frisky ended up getting married, confirming this theory of the lovebirds. So, this is all for today's video. And as always, we'll see you all in the next one.